beautiful beings my name is raven and welcome to my sacred space so as you can see we have several boxes parcels packages from the post today um these are actually my birthday gift to myself well gifts to myself um i don't know my birthday is just right around the corner and i was thinking you know why don't i purchase the decks that i've always wanted but never really got to buy so i did that um <laughs> I actually have several others on the way but for these guys that I already have here I want to open them with you so stick around and let's open my gifts one by one Alright, so for my birthday haul, I got a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and I'm going to include this one just because <laughs> it's a total of 12 decks. So, and um, I got two books. Alright, so I still have three more coming in from Hay House tomorrow, um, but I couldn't really wait. <laughs> I don't know, I just can't wait to get my hands on these babies. So. I want to open with I want to open them with you guys so let's do it um, but first let's um, check the books so this is the first book um, this is beneath the moon by Yoshi Yoshitani if that name and this image looks familiar to you it's probably because you've seen this deck so this is the tarot of the divine um, it's actually a really pretty deck um, comes with a neat guidebook the guidebook has a little bit a little background um, for each of the cards, you know, um, the folklores and fairy tales um, that Yoshi Yoshitani use in the cards, like this one. And it's linen, it's pretty. I'm gonna do a review on them um, together with the book once I'm done reading it. So there you go. I just felt like I will get more acquainted to the decks, or like maybe I'll. Oh wow, look at that. It's so vibrant. I just feel like I will bond with um the deck more once i go through the bill the book <laughs> can't talk so that's why i actually got it and i was actually very interested as well with the stories when i started using um the cards so this is a really nice find so i'm oh the apsara okay so yeah okay so this oops what was that oh the receipt so there you go, Beneath the Moon. Next book that I got is this one. It's the Angel Metatron book, Invoking the Angel of God's Presence. Okay, I just want to say this book is so velvety. I just want to touch it all the time. It feels so good to the touch, which is, I, I don't know, I've never had a book like this before. It's, it's, it just feels really, really nice to the touch. Um, I got this book because I started working with Angel Metatron last year when I got this um, this deck right here and I just feel like um, I wanted to learn more about him so I got this book from Llewellyn it's very nice um, I haven't really gone through it as because you know I just <laughs> opened the box but there it's just a simple book um, white text only no images but oh, it has a little bit of graphics in there i guess uh, yeah the cubes so this is it angel metatron uh, by rose vanden Aiden, i think okay and let's start with the decks oh god i don't know which one to start off with huh okay let's start with this one got this from hay house so let's snip 
Mm, I'm gonna put these aside first. So let's start unboxing the actual decks that I got. So this one, I got it from Hay House. Um, oops. Come on. I think for this order, I got four. Yeah, just four from Hay House. And I ordered another three, which is crazy. I should have ordered all of them together, but ah, I don't know. I don't remember. But okay, let's just open this one. This is the Spirit Messages Daily Oracle Daily Guidance Oracle Deck by John Holland. It's 50 it has 50 cards inside. So I just want to give you a look of the box. Wow, very hard. <laughs> it's a it's a hay house um, box. So pretty sturdy in the bag. It has sample images, the usual. Let's open it up. Okay, shimmy. Okay, there you go. Simple backing, uh, simple interior of the box. And then it has um, a hefty deck, I guess. I mean, it just goes straight to the definition of the cards. Like, this is perhaps like an extended um, description of the cards because the cards themselves actually have like a paragraph in them. So. Open it. Come on. All right. Oh, this feels weird. Okay. Um. So this is the back. It has um. What do you call those? Butterflies. So it has butterflies in the back with some kind of mandala sun flower. It's blue. It's pretty. Um. I'm unsure of the cards. I guess it's because it's so light. But it doesn't feel. It doesn't really feel thin though, but the cards are very, it's very light. I'm saying it's very light. Um, okay, card stock is pretty okay. It's glossy. Um, so this is an example. Okay. Um, I will also have um, a walkthrough. I'll do a walkthrough or a flip through of these cards so if you're interested in that please um, subscribe to my channel hit the notification icon and i will do the review sometime um coming weeks i guess next one we have everyday tarot now this is a tarot that i have been seeing everywhere i guess because it's this is pretty cheap it's just around nine dollars i think how much is it here so here it says it's $12.95, but I got it for just about $9, definitely under $10. So there, um, ooh, it slides open. So this is Everyday Tarot by Bridget something, where, sorry. I, I know she's the one, um, the website BD Tarot is hers, I think. Okay, let's just open it, okay? So this is the guidebook very cute oh it has um nice paper okay it's not just your little white book um it has some the texts are in purple and the um the title or they're in the other words are in gold and they're kind of shimmery so i like that and then let's open the actual box okay hope you're not a challenge to open Let's see. okay so getting these cards out of that box is quite a challenge so I did it um, behind um, off camera and these are the cards I love them their size is pretty cool because I do have small hands and I have seen this before um, Amazon everywhere and I never really I don't know I was never really drawn to it before I guess but you know I, I was interested in it because of its size and I love the gilding um, other reviews that I've seen on YouTube um, I think the camera doesn't do justice because in my camera it doesn't really look that pretty but trust me in real life the edging on this one it's absolutely pretty so here are the cards Okay, so you have your um, 
couple of instruction cards right there. Oops. All right, and then we have the fool, the magician. Okay. It's not really a pip deck, which I love because most often than not, small decks are pipish. But this one is not. And the backing is really, really pretty. Plus, you have the edging. The edging is just divine, okay? So, again, I will do a separate um, walkthrough or flip through for these cards um, soon. So, let's move on to the next deck. Okay, next one is the Gypsy Oracle cards, Oraculo de la Gitana. Okay, this is Sibila de la Zingara. I hope I'm pronouncing them correctly. I'm trying to do it with my Italian accent. But yeah, so these cards, um, I've seen them around. I got them in um, from Llewellyn. Does it say? Okay, $11.95 from Llewellyn. I've seen them around um, being used by other tarot card readers. And I just, I just wanted to get them. I just wanted to get them so I have been meaning to expand my divination knowledge so I have like a Lenormand I have other divination system like the super awesome future fortune cards which is actually a novelty deck but I I'm gonna use it as Oracle cards and then I have the keeper one and then this so okay I'm talking too much okay talk less cut more all right Oopsie. Alright, so the back looks vintage to me. Um, there you go. Yeah, I don't know. I, th I think it looks like a carpet. Or maybe it's, that's just me. But here are the front, the cards. So we have conversation, we have waiting, love, lord, teeth, hotness, surprise, reunion. Is that frailty? Oh no, quality, service. So yeah, those are the cards. Um, in the little white book, LWB, we just have, of course, it has different languages. How many? It's a Los Carabeo deck, so it comes with different languages as usual. Um, and it just has, how many pages for English? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so just fit five pages for the English explanation. Um, so there. Again, I will do a walkthrough. I will do a flip through for every deck that I got. So if you're interested, kindly like, share, and subscribe. No, just hit the notification bell. Okay, there you go. All right, next one is After Tarot. Okay, this is by Los Carabeo. I have already removed the plastic, the shrink wrap, because it's pretty um challenging to remove um this is a deck that i've seen all over instagram and i just thought that the, the concept is very interesting it depicts what happens next after the original writer wade smith scene so oh wow it's um it's kind of ooh, i love it oh god Oh, look at her hugging. Okay, I'm gonna fawn later. <laughs> I'm gonna show you first a little white book. As usual, with Los Carabeo decks, you have different languages and just a couple of pages for the English description. So I guess, yeah, it has the descriptions, it's straight to the point, you know? And then, oh, it has, um, as usual, English, Italiano, Espanol, Francés, and Deutsch. Okay, so this is it. Um, how much is it? It's $23.95. Okay, so it has one. Oh, we yeah, had the backing. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, so just a message from the creators and from the publisher, Los Carleo. And then here we have the backing. It's, I like it. It's very vintagey, and not just my nails. So. Oh wow, the cards are not that thick, okay, but 
I don't know, I'm excited to use them. Oh, wow. Oh, the tower. Oh, I love this card. Okay, I will do again. Why do I have to repeat myself every time? Okay, sorry I had to pause because um, there was some loud um, vehicle passing by. Oh, look at him. All right, so I'm going to have a look later and I will do a... Um, a flip through of that as well so i'm excited to use you oh my god <laughs> all right we're moving to the next deck i hope i don't fumble with the plastic wrap this time so i don't i won't have to pause now i'm fumbling with the box i can't even i'm gonna put you there shrink wrap remove i have been encountering some major challenges with the shrink wrap so um here it is this is mystical keeper um, 36 um, fortune telling cards, keep the fortune telling cards, let's open it up. I got this because of this. No, I'm kidding. I really am interested with keeper decks. But I've, I chose this one instead of the Finn the Sequel, the one by Chido Marchetti. Um, because, I don't know, I just, I like this one. For the backing, <laughs> it's a cute little monkey and some vintage wallpaper wallpaper damn i can't talk and then here are the cards they're tiny not really that tiny but they're pretty small and has main person okay marriage card i chose this one over the other one because i feel as though this one looks more colorful i guess so there you have it i love the borders i know a lot of people don't like borders but i like this one i think it adds some a vintage feel it looks like um, a photo frame so there you go instructions okay so yeah one page dedicated for each of the cards so there you go with the kipper deck let's move on to the next one okay okay so this is the next deck that we're going to check out this is notes from the universe on love and connection um, by Mike Dooley. Um, this is from Hay House. It's twenty one ninety nine. Okay, the back. Um, I love the. It's like the universe on the side. So, oopsie. Shimmy. All right. So it goes straight to the deck. Okay. Um, here you have the app, and then just a little note. Here, okay. All right, so this is Mike Dooley. This is the artist or the author's card or the creator's card. So it's kind of like his message. And then here you have the actual cards themselves. I love it because it has a different message on the back. And once you pull a card, so every back, I mean, each card has a different back side. Okay. But when you cho uh, when you finally choose one, it has a deeper meaning on the other side. So these are like the universe's messages for you. So always follow your heart unless it's been broken. Then you must lead it. So these are very, very good advices that, you know, you can do a daily pull or whatever. I will... Ooh, I love that one. Where is it? Okay, I can't find it anymore. <laughs> Right when I said I can't find it anymore, it says, you'll find what you seek. Let's read the back. Okay. If you've ever suddenly found and been loved by someone, amazing, awesome, fun, and fantastic, chances are astronomical you will again. <laughs> if you haven't yet found such a person, chances are astronomical you will. It's up to you. Love the universe. Why is there a comma there? Anyway. Never mind. So there, this is the notes from the universe on love and connection. I already am loving this deck. Love in spite of it all. Now it's a very good deck. You can use it for your daily pulls or maybe when you're feeling something and you just want some advice. So you can use that one next one. And I hope I don't cut it again let's try if this one will work i think it will because this one's pretty easy to cut open 
This one is Angel Prayers Oracle Cards by Kyle Gray. So the first Kyle Gray deck that I got is actually this one, The Angel Guide. I think this is his latest and I just connected this one with this one. I bonded with this one immediately. I love it. I use it for my daily pulls and I just thought, hmm, I am bonding well with Angel decks. So I decided to get this one as well. So this is how it looks like, sturdy box. Usual Hay House boxes are very sturdy and I love them. I keep the cards in them just to keep them safe and dust free. So here you go, sample cards in the back, a little bit of explanation and it has like this um, um, gold foiling. Okay, let's open it, come on. Shimmy, shimmy. Come on, all right, so nothing on the back. So this is the guidebook, that's Kyle Gray. I find his writing very, very comforting. I don't know, I just, I like it. It's, it has a very gentle energy. Well, um, the Angel Oracle Guide does, and I'm pretty sure this one will have the same. Let's see, okay. Oh, wow, I love her hair. Okay, let's see. So the backing, simple. Okay. It's not reversible, simple card. Um, uh, card is okay. Um, I guess this is thinner than the Angel Oracle card. <laughs> Sorry, Angel Guide Oracle. Um, this is thinner. Um, okay, here you have sample cards. Thank you, angels, for bringing my life into balance. And then count your blessings, how the choices, and your voice. So, hmm. oh my god, I'm excited. I love it already. I love my angel decks. For some reason, I'm really bonding with them, and I'm excited to activate this one with my angel life, meditate, and everything. All right, so next one we have Tiny Tarot Universal Weight. This is by US Games. And actually tore it open already so here you go I saw this on Amazon and I just thought it's so tiny it's so cute I mean look at it look at the size of it and you can bring it anywhere because it has this um, keychain style so you can bring it anywhere if you just need some random like advice from the universe if you want to communicate with the universe or your spirit guides you can bring this one if you don't have the tin ones or tiny decks but I just thought that I when I saw this I was like I want that so here I've seen different reviews on YouTube and they mentioned that it has like a full page well two pages of its descriptions and some spreads so there you go if you can see it of course you're not going to see it from way out there but there it's readable for me, but I guess if you have um, pretty bad eyesight, then you won't be able to read it um, unless you're wearing your glasses. So the cards themselves, oh my god, look, look, whoops, this is, this is just very interesting, it's very simple. Um, I think, I don't know if they're actually paper, laminated paper perhaps, but they're absolutely tiny, really tiny. So there, um, okay, the sun, the lovers, okay, so this is not in order, oh shoot, <laughs> okay, I'm making a mess, but I think, yeah, I, I'm looking at it from, like, this far from my face and I can still see the images okay plus if you already know <clears throat> the cards oops it will be a lot easier <laughs> it will be a lot easier for you to um, make out the images I mean just one look and you'll know if you are familiar with tarot and I am making a mess okay hmm it's strange um, how come the other reviews that I saw, they had like a different container for the cards? I don't remember exactly what. Oh, it, they have like um, a separate box. 
so you don't receive it like this i mean the others at least you receive it with like an actual box i guess they changed it already plus there's um there's another card that's missing um it's like the welcome card or whatever but anyway i love it i i mean i don't know it's too adorable it's too cute right look okay so there you have your handy dandy oops it's your handy dandy tarot deck that you can carry with you anywhere and everywhere right so there put it here for a while okay, where do i put you okay next one oops <laughs> this is the hidden truth oracle by all things intuitive um this deck um was for pre-order for quite a while and now that it's back on stock um i'm excited to show you that i have it already because i have been wanting this deck for a while I, I think i've been saying that all night but yeah i really want this one so i went through um the shuffle inc website and then i went through all things intuitive and then i checked um in the deck hub as well so but they were all out and then i finally finally got them so wow this is very pretty wow okay so the back is very simple it's just the title and creator's name and in the front very straightforward i love the the dainty roses there so there you go it's gloss it's not really glossy but it slides off yeah oops yeah so it's a very nice it's very slippery so it's good for you to shuffle um there you go hidden truth oracle um, when I was trying to decide between this one and the other All Things Intuitive deck, I found it quite hard um, to find a review or a, a flip through of the cards. So I will do one for that. Well, I will do one for everything anyway. So next one we have Angel Answers Oracle Cards by Radley Valentine. This is my second um, Radley Valentine deck. Uh, this is the first one another angel deck of course right so there you go like I said I am I don't know, very much into angels right now so. and I hope it doesn't go away because I do feel comforted with angel decks they're very gentle so here you go Dirty box, okay. Little cards, side, back. Um, okay, it's um, 1999. Okay, so this is a reprint. It was previously the Angel Answer Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine, but we all know what happened to Doreen Virtue, so this one's, um, it has been reprinted. So that's him. Okay, very, very straightforward. <laughs> Where is it? I found no. And <laughs> no. So I like that. So if you would like to, if you have a question that's answerable by yes or no, I mean this, or like if you have questions that are about timing, then this deck would be great because for you because it answers that it has different cards that addresses timing and yes or no so i think it's pretty good it has advices you know i'm sorry forgiveness so i have been seeing this before like a long time ago but um i don't know i wasn't really into angels before but now, oh, Jesus is there, okay? So, so now I am like very interested in angels and I just wanted to get them. So there you go. Oh, why? 
Oh, okay, okay, wait, hang on. What's going on? Alright, just one sec. Huh. Did I just cut it really perfectly? That's strange. So, okay, um, I just noticed that they have different um, borders in the backing. Okay, that's my kitty cat. So, they have different borders. So, this one's um, kind of indigo, yellow, and we have pink. Or purple, yellow, and pink. So, I guess it it depends if it's like an answer. No, no. Okay, this one's an advice. Okay, and then there's a the pink one. Huh. I will have to sort it out and then I will arrange it in that order when I do my flip through so that it's easier for us for us to grasp and understand the cards. Okay. So there you go. Angel Answers by Radley Valentine. You okay, buddy? You okay, buddy? Alright. Alright, and next one we have this is by Rachel True from The Craft. Hail to the guardians of the watchtowers of the north, the powers of Mother Earth. I invoke thee. I invoke thee, Mama. Okay, never mind. So, <laughs> this is by Rachel True from The Craft. So, this is the True Heart Intuitive Tarot Guidebook and Deck. It's pretty heavy and it's a big box. I wasn't expecting it to be this big, but hello okay so initially um, it was sold for $30 but I got this for just 15 14 something um, I guess it's because of um, I don't know the reviews on Amazon the reviews are not that great I mean people are raving about the guidebook okay um, apparently Rachel is true um, shared some of her personal experiences which makes it easier um, for people to connect with connect the meaning of the cards to the um wait connect her stories to the meaning of the cards so there's like this background story for each um that she explained in her description but a lot of people aren't really as happy with the packaging with the cards themselves with the overall production of this deck and I can see why because you can see the box it's just look it's, it's flimsy um, in the back it has sample cards it just looks oh yeah no <laughs> yeah it's like yeah it's just like a pizza box with a print on the back side okay that's sad. It's a very thick guidebook though, and the guidebook is actually pretty. Um, it has the magazine type of paper, so it's not it's not colored. But you can see she has high vibe and low vibe descriptions. So with the keywords, so it's easy. Um, yeah. So there you go. The guidebook it has spreads and everything it's a pretty thick guidebook um there you go okay and then let's proceed with the cards oh no okay i'm not a fan of decks that are half i don't know i mean i guess it makes sense because there there will be a space for the book but they could have easily designed it um a different way i guess especially the box is really like you can i don't know i'm sorry <laughs> but the box isn't really that pretty i am quite nervous with the cards because um the reviews that i read mentioned that about the box and i kind of like expected that i guess but i was still hoping for the best right um now let's see if you know if they're accurate as well with their review and description of the oh man <laughs> of the cards okay so here yes they are accurate okay youtube reviews about the true heart intuitive tarot um 
they're accurate okay this one is flimsy this one is like a business card would be thicker than this one like your name card your business card will be definitely be thicker than this one it's just whoa it's rough it's papery i don't think this will last long with me especially with how i shuffle but there you go um and let me just open the other side uh, the other half rather i'm scared to use them <laughs> i feel as though they'll be very very fragile yeah anyway so there you go these are the cards so yeah the fool the magician the lovers with the fortune oh, i like this one Nine of cups single and ready to mingle and then uh, instead of um, pentacles she uses discs okay uh, the images are not exactly based from rider weight i guess but oh, but some of them are i mean are inspired by them i guess so oh man the cards this is a shame because the the deck the artwork it's really beautiful like i love it but the decks the deck, the paper the paper quality uh, i'm not really that happy with this one but regardless i will do a flip through for anyone and everyone or maybe just a full-on review for anyone and everyone who's interested now this is the last deck okay i don't know like you, because you know i do have my baby right here come on baby let's show your lower body so there you go that's my baby and i do love cats but this is my first cat deck okay i don't know why i mean when i saw this one while i was browsing in um, llewellyn um i just thought that the cats are just so absolutely adorable and i wanted to get them and i wanted this small one so i can bring them where i go whenever wherever i go Aww, look so the box is really nice this is 13.95 sold by llewellyn i got um this is by los carabeo but i purchased this from llewellyn's website um the box is pretty it's linen Okay, okay, it doesn't have the flap, so that doesn't matter. Okay, oh, look at that. It's just, can you see the the texture? Anyway, very pretty box. And then we have the um, little white book. Little white book. <laughs> I'm sleepy, okay. The little white book. And then it just goes on with the description for each of the cards. Very, very little because it is a tiny deck. Um, and then here we have the actual cards. So it has the where is it? There you go. All right. It's tiny. I just want to say it is tiny. All right. It is tiny. Um, let's just compare it with my Morgan. Oh! I want to compare it with my Morgan Greer Tarot. Okay, just one. And it's how tiny it is. Of course, the tiny tarot is smaller this is so adorable i can't wait to go through them okay so you have here the los carabeo card and then the back looks like this <laughs> look at them so cute okay this is the kind of like introduction card okay of course the fool is going to be a dog <laughs> that's so cute and um, we have a cat, you know, providing the dog with some restraint. Okay, um, card stock is good, of course. Um, it's, um, it's not exactly, it's not glossy, super glossy. It's, it has a little bit of shim sh 
sheen. Okay, I really need to steep. It has a little bit of sheen, but it's not too bad. Um, I love it. The cats are absolutely adorable. They're albino because they're white cats, of course. So there. Oh my god, it's such a cute head. Are you happy, buddy? Are you happy? Okay. Let's just try and, I don't know, shuffle? I don't want to shuffle because I want to do a flip through in order for this one. So, and I don't want to go through the, I don't know, pain. No, not really a pain, but I don't want to go through the tedious um, task of, um, of uh, putting them in order. I don't know, I'm just being lazy. I am tired and I want to go to bed. So I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you so much for, if you're still watching, thank you so much for spending time with me and for checking out my birthday decks. This one is very awesome. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you enjoyed watching um, me unbox these decks. I'm gonna, okay, there you go. There's my baby. So um like i said thank you and i hope you guys have a beautiful day if you enjoyed this um this unboxing please like share and subscribe or if you're interested in the decks that i opened today i will of course do a flip through and a walk through or a walk through for the cards themselves individually so there you go thank you so much and i hope you guys have a beautiful day ahead take care and goodbye